Hello everyone, in this video, to celebrate the 7th anniversary of the podcast, I thought I'd revisit the roots of the original idea for the podcast, which was comparing the English dub with the Japanese version of Digimon. So obviously I'm not going to be comparing every single thing and every single change that they did as I've already done that, and all the episodes are all available on YouTube or on any podcast platforms, but I do think I'd highlight a few of my favourite moments from the English dub. So while there are a few things that the English dub doesn't do well, such as emotional moments, for example in Cross Wars we have an episode where Taiki, who is the main character, is the one who's always kind of sacrificing himself to make sure everyone's okay and puts him puts others before himself at all times and we find out this is because one time he didn't and a kid almost died however in the english dub they had it so the kid just had like a few hours of being sick and was okay that afternoon so they downplayed it it's a bit of an overreaction for taiki or slash mikey to change his whole personality based on a kid being sick for a few hours but in the original, he almost died. So in cases like that, or a lot of Data Squad, I think they downplayed a lot of emotional moments. Like, we have the two main characters fighting over something, and the English dub kind of dumbs it down and makes it so child-friendly. Uh, the whole fight came, seems kind of pointless. And then, of course, we have the moment also in Data Squad where a helicopter is crashing and they insert a voiceover that says, Keep calm and land safely! It's, it's very weird. But in any case, we're not going to talk about all the negatives of the English dub. We'll just be talking about a few of my favourite moments in the dub itself. Also, honourable mention to the moment in Digimon Adventure Zero Two, where the characters are surrounded by, I think it's Mushroomon, and they're kind of just standing there for a long time. It's like this really awkward pause and a freeze frame. And I'm so thankful that the English dub added in this moment where Davis just says, hey, uh, they're going to attack, they're just kind of surrounding us for no reason and not attacking, and it's really great that they pointed that out. Best moment, probably one of my favourite moments in the dub. So I'm not going to be talking about what it does wrong in this video, basically. I have so much podcast content for you to listen to about what exactly the dub did wrong. I'm just here to talk about my favourite moments. So I hope that didn't make you stop the video, that I'm only here to talk about positivity. Yay! So other than the moment I mentioned with Davis, we have just the jokes being so memorable. I don't really remember any like standout quotes from the Japanese version or any lines that really affected me. I mean, all of it's fairly okay, but there's no lines that I quote to myself constantly. I know the entire opening for Revenge of Diaboromon just about in English because it's just so likeable, and I don't think it actually changed that much in the Japanese version anyway. It still has the best moment, which is the jellyfish don't live in the water. Jellyfish live in computers and send emails. Even little babies know that. That's my favourite part. But anyway, and that's more or less the same in the Japanese version. But anyway, so we have obviously these really memorable lines in the English dub. Such, as, of course, everyone's favourite of Pokemon's best line in the entire series, where he's asking why everyone gets the pizza and all he gets are the crusts. And then of course we've got my favourite, which is when Tuskmon is introduced, we have Phantomon doing the Digimon Analyzer, and we have him saying, watch out for his razor, no he says, and this is Tuskmon, watch out for his razor club horns, that's no easy tusk. And it's just, I, 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 botched, I botched the line completely, but it's, trust me, it's really fantastic, and it's, the best part of it is the voice of like, say hello to Tuskmon, keeping away from his razor sharp horns, no easy tusk. There we are, did nail it, third time's the charm, of course. But that's my absolute favourite line, and that's in one of the better episodes of Digimon Adventure too. It's in uh, City Under Siege, which is episode 36. It's either the one before or after Flower Power, which is one of my other favourite episodes in the, se in the series season, and probably a lot of did one all together. But anyway, so those are pretty memorable lines and the just the, the delivery of the dumb lines are just always done in such a charming way. We also have uh, another favourite is from Zero Two and this is uh, the, the line that everyone loves where we have Davis is going to uh, play soccer against Ken and we don't know that Ken is the Digimon Emperor yet. Well, spoilers if you haven't seen Zero Two by the way, but Ken is the Digimon Emperor. And we have all of his friends rooting for him 
in a really awkward way, which is Ty's like, even if you don't, we'll still be your friend. It's really funny. And uh, the, the we have Ken just looking on and saying, nice friend you got there, Davis. And it's just, it, I don't know why, but it cracks me up every time. And it's just wonderful. And then, of course, we have when he goes to Mexico in the Digimon World Tour arc, we have him speaking Spanish to the security guard and he gets really upset and Wormon asks him, why did he get upset? And Ken says, he called me a punk. And it's just so memorable. And, of course, we have the moment from the uh, very early in Adventure where Greymon is, is, gets hit and we have Ty saying, are you going to be all right? And Greymon goes, I'm styling, dude. It's just, it's just so charming. I, every time, I just, I love it. I love it so much. And, of course, we have weird moments where the delivery doesn't quite line up with the situation, but it is memorable, like when Willis is telling his sad story in the Digimon movie and Davis starts crying and Willis says, get over it, and Davis is like, okay. It's, it's just, it's weird. It's just, thanks. Thank, thanks, Dub. And, of course, my other favourite moment being, and it's more or less the same in the Japanese version, but it's in our war game or the Digimon movie, where Ty's whole exchange with TK's grandma is like, you're selling Ty's? No, no, my name is Ty. I want to talk to TK and Matt. And he's like, ha, huh, that's my grandson's names. I'm like, yeah, hey, can I, can I talk to them? The grandma goes, oh, I'd love to talk to them too. And then she just hangs up. It is, the delivery is just A plus. Like, it, it's just, ah, oh, thank you so much. So in any case, the English dub isn't as bad as everyone says it is. It has some really memorable and lovely and funny lines but that also could be nostalgia talking, and I'm willing to admit that it, there's a possibility that it could be nostalgia. But in any case, those are my favourite moments in the English dub of Digimon. What are your favourite moments in the English dub, or what are your favourite moments in the dub that you grew up with? Let me know in the comments. Like this video if you liked my attempt at the Phantom on impression. Yay, or like the video anyway, just because... You think the old force behind me is cool. I don't know. But in any case, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you on the next video. Bye!